Resident Evil Revelations 3 is a leaked upcoming title in the Resident Evil franchise. It is not known at the time of recording who is developing the project, but the game will be published by Capcom. The last Resident Evil Revelations game was released back in February of 2015, and Capcom has said the game went on to sell 2.6 million copies worldwide across all platforms, and actually puts the title as one of Capcom's highest selling games to date. More recently, rumors started to circulate that Resident Evil Revelations 3 will be released in late 2021 for the Nintendo Switch, plus some other platforms. So let's break down the first mention, leaks, rumors, and more. As always, all the sources will be linked in the description below, so make sure to check those out and support those original writers. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Fonked2. And with that out of the way, let's get into everything we know about the Resident Evil Revelations 3 leaks and news. The first mention of the title happened in April of 2020 and came from the notable insider Duskalum, who I have mentioned countless times on this channel, and he has a really good track record with Capcom information, especially with Resident Evil games. And while I do trust what he says, as with all insiders and leaked information, everything is subject to change and take everything with a grain of salt because that's just how the game development process goes. Some other important context is Dusk Alum up to this point had been teasing Resident Evil 8 and knew small details about the title and created a thread covering a lot of information in a single place. He started by saying that Resident Evil 8 was not always known as Resident Evil 8 and internally and for most of development it was being created as Resident Evil Revelations 3. And that there was a different version of Resident Evil 8 that was originally in development separate from this project, but Capcom didn't want to wait that long to release RE8. And internal testing was very positive for Revelations 3, so Capcom decided to convert that title into what we now know as Resident Evil 8 Village. Capcom gave the team an additional year of development time to ship the title from Revelations 3 to RE8, so there were massive changes to the story, characters, and gameplay, but a lot of the core game is still there and started out as a Revelations game. It makes sense there would have to be these changes to make it a true mainline title rather than Revelations which usually plays as a side game in the Resident Evil universe. He goes on to say that Revelations 3 was almost at completion, which is why the announcement and release of Resident Evil 8 is so close together, and closes out by saying it was 93% completed before the shift and was in a fully playable state. And the idea of converting a side title into a main title release for Resident Evil is not anything new. The same rumors circulated for Resident Evil 3, that project actually started as a side title, but as the game progressed, the team was very happy with the progress and decided they should just transition and make it into Resident Evil 3 instead of something completely new. And while Revelations 3 in its original form did not end up getting a final release, it does show that Capcom was not giving up on the franchise and wanted to continue development for the next generation of consoles and bring Revelations to a whole new host of players. And what makes this even more interesting is this is not where the rumors end, and it sounds like Capcom actually continued working on a new version of Revelations 3. To continue the rumors, we have to move all the way up to November of 2020 when Capcom's internal systems were hacked and a lot of internal documents were released into the public which gave information on upcoming games, release dates, and so much more. As a part of the leak, a release schedule for Capcom's title up to fiscal year 2024 was revealed, and this release schedule includes quite a few Resident Evil titles. IGN stated in their coverage that they were able to confirm some of the titles were legitimate, but could potentially be out of date. Now, at first glance, there is no mention of Resident Evil Revelations 3, but there is a listing for Resident Evil Outbreak, which is slated for a Q4 fiscal 2021 release, which is really right around the corner and we don't have too much longer to wait until we see it. 
If you don't know, Resident Evil Outbreak was a take on the Resident Evil franchise that included co-op gameplay and online multiplayer, and the game was a big enough hit that Capcom created a pseudo-sequel for the title, which served as more of a standalone expansion for the project, but once again, Capcom was trying to capitalize off its popularity. So it's not completely out of the question that Capcom would revive the franchise, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Dusk Alum once again was asked by a community member, quote, What can you tell us about that Resident Evil Outbreak that leaked? Is it a remake of the original Outbreak, a reboot of the Outbreak series, or an Outbreak 3? And Dusk Alum responded saying, quote, It's Revelations 3, not Outbreak 3. I won't say more than that, though. And this is a very interesting idea. I would say most members in the community were taking the leak at face value that this would be some sort of outbreak reboot or sequel and not Capcom actually creating Revelations 3. But going back to what I said earlier, the fact that Capcom has already tried to make this game once, it's not surprising they would want to revisit it. And revisiting it so soon is once again not surprising and definitely what they could be doing. And they're just referring to it behind the scenes as a different name or as IGN said, Said, this leak could be outdated in terms of the release schedule, and it could have transitioned into Revelations. Moving forward in November, Duskalum elaborated further on the idea of this leak and Revelations 3 on Reset Era. He said, quote, I sort of weighed the options. I think long term, people believing there's an Outbreak 3 and it not existing may hurt more than help. I also got 100% confirmation Outrage is RE Switch. It may not be called Revelations 3 when it releases, but it is for all intents and purposes, and it's the Switch-focused RE game. Not Switch exclusive though, it's coming to everything, Switch has the lead platform though. I know you know this, just decided and think it's coming out to the public anyways. And this paragraph is very important because he does say the name might change, but it is, regardless of what they call it, essentially Revelations 3. And when the game is released, it will be very similar to the Revelations franchise. Also, the rumors we have heard about the Switch, it sounds like it is true, but the game will come to all platforms, it just will come to the Switch first, and sounds like it will have some optimization and special things to have for Switch players. He actually gave another follow-up post with some additional details about gameplay and said, quote, I'll confirm this now. RE Switch is a survival horror title, not an action horror title. At least internally, they view it as survival horror. There obviously will still be action to it, but they're aiming for a horror feel a la RE7 or RE2. Once again, this comment isn't too surprising. From my perspective, I would say the Resident Evil franchise has been moving in this direction overall, especially with the remakes. Resident Evil 2 and 3 have been moving away from the action, and so has Resident Evil 7, and it looks like Resident Evil 8. They're moving back to their horror roots, and away from some of the action-focused games like 5 and 6. So if you have been a fan of this change, Revelations 3 will continue down this path, and I don't think it's anything too drastic. I think a lot of these games still have enough action to be very entertaining while still maintaining that perfect balance. So I don't think this is an issue, but if you were hoping this would be a strictly action game, it looks like that won't be the case. And the final comment I want to touch on is the return of Rebecca Chambers. She's been absent from most of the recent Resident Evil games, and to my knowledge hasn't been a lead protagonist in a Resident Evil game since Resident Evil Zero, but I guess she was also playable in the Umbrella Chronicles and Resident Evil 5, but once again not in the story, more so just for side minigames. And that's not to say Capcom has neglected her completely, as she has also shown up in the movies, but she is a character who is very important early on for the Resident Evil franchise, and it looks like she will be returning. The last information we get about this is from Dusk Golem, who states that she will be returning when a community member asked, quote, I don't know if you have said anything on this, but do you know who would potentially star in this game? I do remember you saying Rebecca, but is that the only returning? I hope Capcom has Jill as well so people can calm down. And Dusk Alum responded saying, quote, I know more about Apocalypse than I do Outrage, but I got confirmation since I spoke that Outrage is RE Switch and what internally was Revelations 3 after some stuff, but it may not be called Revelations 3, maybe it will though. 
Every time I've heard about Revelations 3 since 2017, Rebecca has been a part of it. Rebecca was planned to be a part of Village at one point to further connect the two games, but she's no longer in Village. I think she's still starring in RE Switch though. So once again, if you've been waiting for the return of Rebecca Chambers, you should be excited because if the rumors are to be believed, it sounds like she will be returning to the Resident Evil universe. Also, I think it's interesting that he does say she was supposed to be in Village and that was supposed to connect it to this new Resident Evil Revelations game. So once again, it wasn't by accident that they wanted to create Revelations again. They did have a plan and have probably gone through many iterations to connect the game and keep this cohesive universe moving forward. So what should we expect in the next year? Well, for one, if this Capcom leak is up to date, then we should get the game released in Q4 of fiscal 2021, which would mean a release date sometime between January to March 2022. Marketing would have to start sometime this year, and then we'll know for sure what's happening with this title, especially if the Switch rumors are true, and if this will tie into Village. I for one am very excited to see if this title will take advantage of any of the Switch hardware specifically, and overall it's just such a great time to be a fan of the Resident Evil franchise, with all these new projects and bringing the games and stories to a new generation. And that is everything we know about the Resident Evil Revelations 3 news and leaks. As always, make sure to like and share this video, subscribe for weekly gaming news, and I will see you guys in the next one.